Hey everybody, it's Captain Grizz, and here I had an encounter in the fog with a destroyer on the port side, within probably less than 100 yards, and he raked me pretty good. I mean, I couldn't see him, it's dark in the fog, so he ended up tearing up my stern pretty bad. Anyway, I'm doing a, a campaign here with U-Boat 606, and I'm doing this at 100% difficulty first person. So a lot of these maintenance actions and everything I'm going to take place while I'm in a first person view. So anyway, you can see he's still pounding me. I'm going to get underway and try and get under the water and arrest the boat so he can't detect me. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll just explain what's going on as I'm trying to save the boat and save my crew. I took a, took a few casualties and we took a lot of flooding. Unfortunately, it doesn't turn out well, but and you'll see later on another a larger destroyer group arrives and finishes the job. But anyway, we try our best, and this is trying to do a damage control in first-person view, so it's a little more difficult than the normal standard view mode. Yep, as you can see, I'm going through. I'm looking through where all the damage is and assigning crew members. People are carrying wounded. We have. Uh, I'm looking for the holes in the boat to plug the leaks. It's really hard to run the pumps right now because the destroyer's still there and of course the pumps are out so somebody's working on that to try and get that going. Kind of a priority. We have a guy fixing a leak over there above the head. Pretty bad one. And pretty much in emergency mode right now. I'm just going through. I already closed all the bulkheads to order to close all bulkheads to contain the flooding. Uh, both mechanics have breathers so they're able to get into these flooded rooms and work on the leaks. See the aft room, a lot of damaged stern tubes, a couple holes blown in the back of the boat. This is the absolute worst thing that could happen to you other than a plane dive bombing you. But the mechanics are doing a great job getting it uh, back, in, uh, back in shape. But another thing is I need to go silent, try and keep the boat as quiet as possible because that destroyer is definitely going to swing around and start looking for us. Again, going through the maintenance actions, trying to find where the holes are. Because there's no real, I can't do a real visual, visual representation of it. Get, ordering the radio man, he's a medic. Ordering him to start healing some of the crewmen. I could have easily saved this boat, but a, he radioed in for a second larger uh, hunter killer group to come in and that's what pretty much ended it for me. Taking the engines off so I don't scrape the bottom or make any noise. First aid's underway. I'm trying to see if I can get enough flooding out of the hydrophone room so I can listen and see where the enemies are. Right now we're having issues with that because there is too much flooding. Yep, we have crewmen going down in the back. Some opening up the door, leaving it open so some of the water can come in some of the other compartments. Kind of standing outside there, let them get by. A lot of flooding, got some just, just straight up holes in the boat. There he goes, bring some of the water down. Hopefully keep some of the beds free to lay down the wounded. I think you might be working on a bulkhead there. Okay, the pump's operational. Having it turned on. Thing is, it makes noise, so the destroyer looking for me can hear it. So I'm kind of listening for him, seeing he was around, and then going ahead and uh, usually kind of turning the pump on and off as he gets nearby. So. I'm running that risk because I need to get some of this water out of the boat or else it's going to break a lot of my systems. I have a lot of spare parts, but I end up running out of everything. and just got to make sure those spare parts go towards closing up the holes. Again, nice feature here is the mechanic and crews have been uh, are able to help with the repairs, so they're no longer standing idle like they used to be in the previous editions. Okay, again, I'm kind of searching to see if the destroyer. I can't. I don't have any ears, so I can't hear where he's at. More repairs are taking place. The mechanics are actually doing a great job saving the boat. Again, I got to look for the holes. Just the holes. There you go. Okay, 
We just got done, the pump is working. We are, flooding is slowing down and getting contained. Trying to keep assigning people to work because you can always hit the space bar, slow down time so you can get help. So the medic again is helping somebody else. And looks like we're doing okay so far. We got a lot of water, but that's not, not too big a deal. We got plenty of battery. We got plenty of, uh, of other things to uh, keep us going. Plenty of air. We're in pretty shallow depth. We've, we're down about 50 meters. So it's not... We're laying on about 50 meters, so the pumps can actually work pretty efficiently at that depth. Okay, it looks like the flooding is real. It's starting to come down some, so the pumps are starting to get the water out very slowly, though. Okay, checking statuses. Okay, got a leak fixed. Good. So we'll go ahead and make sure the mechanics. He's help, now he's helping some wounded people, but he just started helping someone right away, so I couldn't couldn't stop him. The other mechanics working. Again, I'm looking up top. The engines. I don't think the engines were running, even though I had some speed. But making sure my depth's all the way down. He's working in the aft torpedo room that's flooded. He's got a breather on, so he's he's able to do his work there. Whenever that other mechanic becomes available, I'll make sure to run him in on another leak. These guys actually run their breathers down to near nothing, doing the fixes, but they get it done. Still waiting on the guy who's helping. Yeah, the whole aft, the stern aft torpedo room is completely flooded. Again, checking repairs, seeing what he's doing, what other repairs are available. Again, there's a lot of stuff that's not to worry about, but again, the holes are a must. Okay, he fixed that leak. I think we got like one, one more, one more leak. Again, you can see that I'm pausing it, making sure that I got time to deal with it. Pump is still working. I still got to worry about that destroyer though. Okay, taking a look. Pumps working. I'm making sure you're trying to be as silent as possible. So I go ahead and switch the lights down to blue to try and keep limit everybody's noise. But again, repairs and pumps and all that stuff, they make a lot of noise, so it'll bring the destroyer back to us. But he ends up having a hard time finding us. Okay, I'm just trying to see if I can get the Taking a look, at, I'll be taking a look here at the hydrophone room because I want to. I think I got enough flooding where I can't use it, so I start trying to get buckets out and everything to clear that area. But it, again, it's too late. He's working first aid again. The other, so everybody's working as best they can to fill the holes, stop everything. I think the flooding has been stopped, or we got one leak left. I think they're holding it as well. Again, I'm taking a look at the surface I can't hear, so one thing I can do is look for visual cues, like he's depth charging there, so you can hear the depth charges going off, and you can see water and smokestack, you know, making noise. So he is searching for us, but he can't quite find us. Again, I'm scouting out for him, looking for any kind of smoke in the air, or any kind of giveaway that shows his position. Okay, the leaks are fixed. Did not see the destroyer. Okay, the flooding is contained. Some of the other repairs are getting fixed, and I think at some point I'm about to run out of parts. Fortunately, the salvage room is in the very back where it's mostly flooded. Yeah, so all that stuff that's that can be taken care of it later. We don't have any engine damage or anything like that. That's absolutely critical. Pill thrower. Um, one of the it looks like one of the decompressors might be wrecked, or both. That can be bad, but I got enough air to get up if I need it. 
and I'm letting some of the water out. The room is completely full of water. I'm, I'm kind of letting the water spill throughout the boat now. So I can get around, so we can get repairs, so we don't need to need, use breathers. Water starting to equalize. I'm also bringing some of the water closer to the to the pump so that it can easily be pumped out. So I'm letting the water in to the forward part of the boat. I probably shouldn't have done that because I let have left the uh, hydrophone available. I was hoping I had enough I had enough space in the boat to let the water kind of spread out. I have the pump off right now because I don't want the destroyer to find me. You're like tucking up to your necks and water in here. Okay. It's working on one of the compressors. Alright, we are out of spare parts, so but we got everything we got everything that's essential to us to survive, so. I'm just looking to see if there's any other spare parts or salvage in there. Okay, I'm turning the pump on. I often listen to the music to determine if I'm being hunted or not. The music changes. That's when you're, that kind of music there means you're being hunted. So I'll turn it off so they can't narrow me down. Sometimes I'll let it run though just to get away with get it, get some more water out of the boat. So I'll go do a check real quick to see if I could have a visual. But you can see I'm staying by the pump, making sure I can turn it off right away. In this case I'm letting it run just a little bit. Okay, he's doing medical I'm another sailor. It's getting water out pretty good right now, so I go down and check and if I see the destroyer is close, I'll turn it off. There he is. There's a smokestack. So he is very close by. Kind of see where he is in reference to my boat. Okay, so I don't see him around the boat really. I think I do a scan around and I don't see him really close by, so I kind of run the risk. Yeah, I turned it off. Going quiet again. That got a good amount of water out while I was able to run it. Okay. Other sailor's hurt. He's kind of underwater. I got three minutes. So I, I try and see if I can bucket some of the water out to the control room or the engine room to have access to him. Again, this would be in a scary situation to be in in a U-boat because I was I was about I was uh, north of Ireland. I was getting ready to come down, and it was foggy in the dark, and I and I happened to run right into him, caught totally by surprise. Again, he's flooded. We can't get to him. trying to run the pumps or everything to try and so the music changes okay on the pumps a little bit fortunately I thought of it too late but I could have I could have uh, bailed some of that water out of that area I needed the hydrophones I needed to get the hydrophones going and that was my mistake not trying to bail water while running those pumps Yep, she means music changes, being hunted again. I'm just gonna let them run. Okay, start bailing water. You get to go put which room you want it. Want it in this room back here. Okay, and the crewmen that are assigned to them start starting to help bail water out. I'm gonna doing that hopefully to try and save that sailor. Yeah, boy, I think yeah, I, I got caught up trying to save the sailor more than was the danger I was in, so can't save everybody. I 
Again, searching the surface, looking for the boat, see if it's anywhere nearby. Not seeing them, so I'm presuming I'm safe, but they could see. I zoomed out just for a little bit, but there was a large group coming from the south, and that large group is a big hunter killer group that he's called in to hunt us. And unfortunately, they, they end up finding us. We were not quiet enough. Okay, continuing to go throughout the boat. Water levels are coming down, the pump's getting water out. I don't know if I have it on or off at this moment. Again, I'm assigning more crew to bail the water out. Okay, water's being bailed, so I can't necessarily do anything about it. Okay, so he can now help the guy in the bed, but the timer's running awfully close. Yeah, he's got... So, I actually watch this. I see, you can see he's almost got him. He's got within a second. Bader. And Schneider is... gone. So we lost one sailor in this. He almost saved him. Almost. We tried. We tried our best. Pump is still running. Again, I'm always searching the surface for ships. There's the group right there coming. They are getting closer and closer. I couldn't see exactly see how close they were, but they're heading right towards our location. Okay, I'm trying to right now. I'm trying to clear more water out just so I can get access to the hydrophones. This may have been the, the same turning that bilge on may have been what killed me here. But the water, I mean, got a lot of it out. I just wish they didn't detect us. Okay, like going all the way to the back room here. Okay, more crew assigned, trying to free up the hydrophone. Good thing is the discipline was holding out really well, not having any crew issues. That's in a situation like that, it, I could see that definitely being a problem. So we're going to bail out water and try and get it back as far back in the boat as I can. I'm trying just to make room. Got a little more flexibility to dump water in other locations. Basically, you're doing that just so you have access to certain things. Like right now, I really need the hydrophone because you need to know what's going on above you. So, you know, if we turn the pumps off, etc. And so sometimes moving the water around really can help you get access or to fix systems and, and stuff. Again, this is too late. That group's getting closer and closer. They're right there. I just don't know exactly how close they are. Now, the music's playing the we're not detected music, so I'm assuming that we're not detected, but that's obviously not the case. Because the thing is, I could have repaired the boat, surfaced it, I could have radioed for a milk cow to get resupplied and be able to be about my mission or way. And I was trying to deliver a spy in Belfast, and the spy ended up getting killed in the attack, so that mission was a fail. Okay, taking a look and see what I can do. There's not much I can do now other than go ahead and uh, just can try and get water out of the boat. So I go ahead and speed up the time seat because I, I was hoping this, I have everything off, I'm quiet, I'm hoping this group goes past, we go undetected. Maybe they heard the people with the pails inside, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, didn't have pumps running, we were quiet, we were laying on the bottom. I see them passing by, and I'm like, okay, they're, they're moving on, and all of a sudden, I just got I got hit by an attack or something. Boom, game over. Leaks, everything done. Something hit me. But anyway, thanks guys for watching, and I hope to put out more content on a later date. Thank you.